Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Ferhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm going to talk about the radio filter in Camera Raw 8. Now, you might know that from another video that you can use a Camera Raw as a smart filter in this new version of Photoshop. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I turn this layer into a smart object and then go to Filter and choose Camera Raw Filter. Once we are in the dialog box here, we have this new tool called Radial Filter. You can press J as well to quickly select it. And what we can do with this filter is that we can create a circle uh, or ellipse and we can move this anywhere in the image. It, as you can see, always starts from the center. So for example, here it's ideal to click in the center point if we want to do something with this person sitting here in the front. So I've set this circle or ellipse on that area, which I would like to affect with my changes. And then here on the right, we have all the changes that we can apply to this. As you can see, there's quite a lot of things. And we can even change the feather of our selection. And uh, we can always turn on and off the overlay. The keyboard shortcut for that is V. It's quite good to know that. And also for the changes to see before and after, you can press P, which is the preview here on the top. Okay, so I'm going to uh, just hide the overlay of this so we can see exactly what we are doing. Now, first of all, I'm going to double click on these uh, little arrows to set them back to their uh, original values. And I'm going to make some changes. First of all, I would like to see more details in the shadow areas. So I'm going to increase the shadow slider up. Let's see before and after. That already looks much better. There's more details we can see. Maybe reduce the highlights a bit. Re in increase the exposure as well. I want to make sure that I, I don't make it too obvious that I used a radial filter. I want to just add more emphasis on this part of the image. And I think I start to uh, achieve that. Maybe I increase the clarity a bit more and even the saturation. So now this part definitely became more interesting and uh, it draws our attention into the photo. And as a composition, I would like to do the same with this other person here on the left. So I'm going to click and drag over him as well. We can always turn back the overlay if we want to. And we can always move this ellipse around. We can uh, rotate it. We can make a size difference to it. But once it's selected, we can maybe reduce the exposure on him. Let's see before and after. I think that looks quite good. Maybe a little bit more on the shadows. I think that looks good. So let's see before and after. And if we click on OK, all these changes will be saved as a non-destructive camera raw smart filter, which we can always turn off and turn them back on. And if we want to make any changes to it, we can just double click on this and then we will be able to see all these changes by selecting the radio filter. And there we can select each of these options and the camera raw smart filter will remember all the settings that we used. So it's completely non-destructive. And as you can see, you can use it for a lot of things, even for sharpness, noise reduction, defringe, color, and all this will be local non-destructive adjustments to your image. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video. But if you're interested, make sure you check out all the other new feature videos here on PSD Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.